our polling locator, which tells people where to go vote. They tried to jam it 200,000 times on election day. Secretary of State Delbert Hoseman is referring to Mississippi's November 2018 general election. Ever since the 2016 presidential election, the issue of foreign operatives and hackers manipulating the voting process has been a huge concern. Hoseman says they now work year-round trying to identify and stop any potential problems. We have been meeting and giving cybersecurity information to our circuit clerks and our election commissioners on a lot of instances. Uh, we have started now dual authentication if they want to get into the statewide election management system. The U.S. Election Assistance Commission, which is the only federal agency focused full-time on elections, shows states have only spent about 29 percent of the $380 million for election security that was allocated by Congress in spring 2018. Now, Congress gave states five years to spend those funds. Eleven states, including Mississippi, still have at least one precinct that uses paperless voting equipment that does not provide a voter-verified paper ballot to allow for risk-limiting audits. Secretary Hoseman says there's an independent audit going on right now of every county. There have also been tests of the system from outside entities. Well, we've had a review by Homeland Security. I've asked them to come to Mississippi. They did. We got very high marks from them. Uh, we've had independent groups come and try to penetrate the systems and whatnot. We, we were able to thwart all of those. 39 counties have started using their allocations. Some used all of the funds and some are awaiting approval of their expenses. The funds for Hines County were rejected. The Secretary of State's office says they requested more than 176,000 of the more than 320,000 that's allocated for them to repave several polling place parking lots in their entirety. Well, the repaving of entire parking lots is not an approved expense, only the portion of a parking lot that's designated for the handicap. Hines County made the correction and has resubmitted the application. With all the checks and balances, Hostman says Mississippi is well prepared and he doesn't want anyone scared that their vote won't be counted or will be stolen. We're not connected to the internet on any of our voting, so there's no, nobody going to take your ballot. So if you go and cast it, it's going to be counted. He says don't take everything that's said on social media as the truth, because those are some of the other tactics used to keep voter participation down. They try to drive you where you don't trust one or the other or whatnot, so you don't participate. Now, if you don't participate and cast your ballot, they win. The Russians win. The Secretary of State wants voters to know everything is being done to make sure your right to vote is protected. I spend a part of every day on cybersecurity. Aaron Pickens, 16 WAPT News.